Hey guys, Bill here. You know, most people don't think of catfish as bona fide river monsters, but here in the Amazon, they've got some catfish that are downright scary. From the giant piraiba to the tiny kendaru, there are dozens of catfish that easily qualify as real monsters. Today I'm with Steve Townsend, who is an expert at fishing in the Amazon. Wow, that's a thumb burner. Wow, We're in Venezuela and actually looking for the infamous payara or vampire day. fish. But something else finds its way onto Steve's hook. Look, pseudobim catfish. Whoa, how cool is that? Now that is really cool. That's a real river monster right there. This is a really odd looking shovel nosed tiger catfish. Or pseudobim, as they're known in the majority of uh, South America. And it's got spikes everywhere, nasty spikes too. It is a real predator par excellence, real river monster. And it hides in the shallows, mostly in the shallows, and comes straight out and hits any unwary bait fish. So look at that. Is that not the weirdest thing you've ever seen? Look how thin that mouth is. And it opens up, I mean, it, it'll fit a fish in six inches long in that, in that mouth. Now that is an Amazon river monster. Cool, eh? I'm going to put him back. Down he goes to the depths. Now that's a very cool fish, and that's one of the reasons I love coming to the Amazon to look for these creatures. You never know what you're going to find. Like little tarantulas coming out of the ground next to where you're sleeping. Or finding a fishing lodge in the middle of nowhere run by a Ukrainian, Russian-speaking dude named Vlad. Okay, now in the next video in this series, Steve and I are going to continue our hunt for this famous vampire fish. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so now. You're not going to want to miss this one. This is one scary river monster.